Um, dark days today. Saddest day for a professional diehard professional wrestling fan. With the list of superstars that got fired today. Instead of reading some of, some of their names, I had them in figure form. The biggest one that was fired, Rusev. And where do I see, what do I see out for Rusev's career? Well, that, that was the end of his career. WWE, he had nothing else to do. They booked him terribly when he came back with Lana and Lashley storyline. And he's gone. And it's going to stay like that. And when everything is back to normal, you will see him in all elite, Rus all elite wrestling. Rusev is going to be elite. Um... And he can help the company a little bit there. He's a big, he's a pretty big name. Um, Rusev Day was his biggest thing. Um, and yeah, now, um, being with that being said, also the revival got released. But before this huge thing where they released 20 other superstars, um, revival are going to AEW, no doubt. Rusev is one of them. Then you got. Number two over here that is going to be elite, I think, as well, as a lot of people thought thought when I watched the live stream today about this. That is Eric Rowan can be elite, too. Main reason, he could join the Dark Order, his best friend, well, his best fr friend, I guess, tag team partner of the blood, former Bludgeon Brothers. This is what that elite is. His last, like, a, that was his last figure. Is he can join Brody Lee in the Dark Lord, aka Luke Harper in WWE? So I see him not coming back at all. They didn't do anything with him in that cage, did him no, nothing good. Then the payoff was flat at Spider. Eric Young, he got released. What do I see? Really individually here. There's some of them that I haven't figured for. What do I see them doing with Eric Young? Well, unfortunately, I don't see them bringing him back at all. And this was his last figure. I don't think he had any other figures except for this Elite, which sucks. It's a good Elite, though. Um, it's a great Elite. Um, so, yeah. Probably would have got more figures. And all their figures now are canceled. Um, so he's not getting any more t toy action figures. So pick all these figures up that you see because they're you know, ring cycle expos. Um, you got to pick these all up if you like ringside or you're just at like a toy store or something. You got to pick these up at a Walmart or a Target if you see them when the virus is over. Because you might, I don't think he'll they'll, they'll resign them. I don't think so. In an English, Rusev Day started because of this man. In English, the voice of Two Hundred Five Live on commentary. He never after after Rusev Day was dead, and he he wrestled Rusev one match. We never saw him. Then he went. Now he did commentary, and now he's gone. So I don't see them reusing In an English. So he's. I don't see him going to AEW. Neither is Eric Young. So yeah, Kurt Angle, another big name out of that and Rusev, were probably the two shocking big names. More, mo mostly Rusev, but Kurt Angle was gone as well. Um, I, I, um, I didn't see this one, this one coming, but there's nothing for Kurt Angle to do. So yeah, but it does suck that he's gone. Though. The OC, Gallows and Anderson. This one, this one was also a lot of these names are shocking. They signed a five-year deal and now they're gone. Their boneyard match with the Mines will be their last match now. Will it? In the archives, when you look back on that, great boneyard match. 
Two sad ones for me. Zack Ryder. Gone. This really sucks. I, and then to top it even, make it worse. Brian Myers, a.k.a. Kurt Hawkins. Gone. Hawkins and Ryder. That's another tag team. Gone. You seeing a trend here? You got some tag team, former tag teams and tag teams. The OC and Hawkins and Ryder. They're not on Raw anymore. Because they're fired. And laid off now. And probably a depressing one, a really depressing one. He Slater. He Slater got fought, laid off today and not in, employed. He's got kids, god dang it, and he's gone. So, yeah. There might be more. I heard, I heard NXT talent might be getting the, the, that aren't, that never debuted on NXT might be getting out. Um, yeah, Lana, um, resigned, supposedly, I heard on Wrestling News live stream, resigned, so L Lana, yeah, I don't think is a part of WWE either, I haven't con heard that confirmed, but she is sticking with her man Russo. No, Lashley and them are not actually married, if you actually thought that. No way, Jose, I don't have a figure of him, he's out. I saw his post on Twitter. My mom showed it to me. Because Wrestling News watched it. Um, I like how he's very upbeat about it. But that does suck. I wasn't a huge fan. But I like the song. and you know, Most of these guys really weren't catering. Another sad one here. Drake Maverick. His post on Instagram is blowing up right now. Yeah, I feel so terrible. Terribly bad for him. It sucks for Drake Maverick. I I can't imagine what what he's feeling like right now. His message was very, his response to this was very sad. Um, EC three. If I had to pick one person that I knew would not stay with the company, is EC three. Because why? How could you bury this man? He was he was so good. I thought he was good. Everyone thought he was terrible or not good at all. I, I at least had some hope for him, but they killed him. I don't. I can't even remember the last time he was on TV. I think it was like twenty four seven garbage title. Um. Yeah. Leo Rush. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know what you want me to say? I can't believe it. Leo Rush. He got a second chance in NXT. Gone. It sucks. Maria and Mike Canales. They weren't on at all. Gone. Primo and Epico, same thing. Gone. Um, Sarah Logan, gone. One minute you're seeing her getting squashed by Shayna. Two days later, she's getting a phone call. She's fired. Just like No Way Jose. He gets buried to Lashley. Whoever would have thought we would have seen No Way Jose and Sarah Logan's farewell match, and they get buried. And now they're not even employed. Because of the, because of the virus, I almost said it. They probably would have demonetized and got rid of my video. Um, and then for producers, sh um, Shane Helms, the Hurricane. That sucks. I think they can bring him back though. Lance Storm, Fit Finley, Scott Armstrong, referring Mike Kyoto as well. Um. Um, so 20 main roster superstars, then backstage producers, Pat Bach, Cher Sarah Stockwell, Stock, I don't know, I don't know her. Um, yeah, so that one, um, Sean Devari, um, I know who that is because I watched him when I was a little younger, so... My mom bringing me water. Um, and Billy Kidman. So yeah, that's my list. I'm gonna keep it. So yeah, guys, what do you what do you think of this laying off some superstars? Leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Until next time, this has been the movie King Ryan 23. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys for. 
an interview at 8 o'clock. I'll see you guys then. But this has been it for this video. Please let me know. Please like this video and comment and share it with all your friends. I'm at, I'm reaching almost 500 subscribers. I'm at 489 the last time I checked. I need two more subscribers. Let's get through, let's, let's get through this pandemic and try to get me to 500 while we're at it. Please, it would mean a lot, a lot to me. So yeah, thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.